Hello. I always wanted to do a movie where I talk and uh, draw on my whiteboard or in this case um just a sheet of virtual paper. And um so but I never got around to do it until now. So what is today's topic? You may ask. Well it's religion. Religion. Why do you want to talk about religion? Well, you know? Well, I can answer that for you now. Religion equals bad. That's a lame excuse you may think, because religion is always bad. Because you may think that religion is really good for society. Well, it is not. You know what? What religion wants you to do? Blind faith. Blind faith only. You're not allowed to question or um, say that you don't believe in something according to the according to religion. That's loud. Religion is static. You cannot change it or budge it or turn it or anything else. That is just not allowed. To the contrary, science is progressive. Science is builds on the principle of budging and uh, inventing new laws and uh, stuff like that. A theory is the highest form is what is most valued in science. When you think that is the lowest, when observation is the highest, that is wrong. An observation does not explain anything. Let me start by a box here. I have a box which represents an observation. Then, from that observation, make an hypothesis. From that hypothesis, we experiment. From that experiment, we make a theory. Well, that's, this is just uh, really simplifying how science works, but it's this is how it basically works. Not all things, but from observation, like. Um, I would say quarks. Kvarkar, as we call them in Swedish. How do you know that they exist when we can't observe them? Well, we can observe their impact, but that's what an observation um, can make. Mathematical, um, um, mathematical uh, theories, like how do you know that the mass and energy is, in, is uh, exchangeable? Well, because energy equals mass um, times speed of light in square. Well, that's not a cool theory. So that's how. So you don't actually need an observation to begin with. Well, you thoroughly need an observation. Sometimes you have a, you just start a hypothesis. And uh, from there, you way through mathematicals, math mathematics, or experiments, or anything, and then from that, you either disprove your, your hypothesis, 
or you make a, or you prove it and make a theory. So, this is not how religion works. He works by control. This is you, and you are tied down by chains created by religion you are the member of. Not allowed. If you question something, you're going to send to hell. Or how nice is that? So, free yourself from the chains and fly away with the science and see the light what I call religion my goodness my eyes something that weak beings rely on well that sounds sort of racist, doesn't it? And um, elitist. Well, that's who I am. I'm not really an elitist by mind, but you may think so. You see, religion is a blanket that you, that you curl on, that you put over your head when you don't want to know, you don't want to see. When you are, when you think, when you think that a savior is an easier way to handle things, and you believe in stupid, really, really, utterly stupid, idiotic things, like the world has four corners. How idiotic ain't that? That is what religion tells you. So, there's more to talk about. Um, no, there's nothing more to talk about about religion. Bye.